Good afternoon, Colin here with TechOut, and today Apple released um, HomePod OS 16.3 alongside TVOS 16.3. It was delayed a day from the iOS uh, and iPadOS releases for some reason. They did up, uh, release it yesterday and then pulled it. It has been re-released today, so we're going to go over a couple of the main changes in um, the HomePod OS and some extra features that you now get from your HomePod Mini and second generation HomePod. Um, and we'll go ahead and take a look at those here real quick. I took a screenshot of um, the update section. So you get temperature and sensor, uh, temperature and humidity sensing on the second generation and HomePod Mini uh, that is not included in the original HomePod. There is no temperature sensor in that. Um, remastered ambient sounds are more immersive and can now be added to scenes, automations, and alarms in the Home app. So better sounds on that kind of stuff. Um, Find My is now on the HomePod, so anybody that is sharing a location with you, you can now um, use your HomePod to uh, find people. Let me see if it'll find my iPhone. Hey Siri, find my iPhone. Looking for your iPhone. It's nearby. Pinging your iPhone now. Yep, so you can hear that. Um, I got a Find My alert, uh, alert on my iPhone, and my HomePod told me it was nearby. Hey Siri, find my AirTag. Looking for Collins Keys. It's nearby. Pinging Collins Keys now. Hey Siri. Stop finding keys. Looking for Collins Keys. It's what? nearby. Pinging Collins Keys now. So you can hear that. I don't know if you can hear my AirTag. It's in the other room. But it was able to ping my AirTag and play a sound on it. Um, so that's pretty cool right from the HomePod. It can tell you it's nearby. And it can also, um, if it's your iPhone, play you know the sound on your iPhone and play the sound on your keys. So very helpful if you drop your keys under the couch or something like that and you have a HomePod in your living room. That kind of stuff. So that does work very good. Um, reoccurring home, home automations can now be set up using just your voice. Um, Siri confirmation tones now play for... Um, smart home uh, requests on devices that are either in another room or may not um, actually show anything visually when they complete. Um, audio tuning optimizes spoken content such as podcast um, for even greater clarity on the second generation and um, on the second generation HomePod and first generation HomePod, not the mini. And then updated volume controls on the first generation HomePod for better volume control at lower volumes. So that is um, the update right there. If we hop on into the Home app right here, um, this is one of the things that now shows up in the Home app, is if you go to Climate up here on the top, um, you can see your different devices. Um, so I have two uh, Honeywell thermostats that are HomeKit compatible, so they do show up in here and report temperatures, and you know you can control the, the temperature and stuff like that, obviously, like a you know any other thermostat. Um, but right here in the middle, you can see temperature. It is calibrating right now, so it's not showing a temperature. Um, but this is the HomePod temperature sensor, um, so it will report temperatures alongside any other devices you have that are capable of doing that. Um, so if you have HomePods around your house, you can use these for automations to, say, adjust your thermostat, um, turn on a fan, that kind of stuff. Um, so you can set up automations for that kind of stuff if a temperature drops below a certain uh, threshold or rises above a certain threshold. One thing you can't do um, just right out of the, the gate here is you can't set it up to send you a notification, which would be helpful if, you know, hey, your, your house is getting hot. Um, just send a notification or, hey, it's dropped below, you know, 50 degrees in a room or 60 degrees in a room, send me a notification. That is not on that list of things. Um, you can convert it to a shortcut, so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna guess you can probably set up some way to send yourself a notification with a shortcut, um, but that is something you do have to customize a little bit more and play around with a little bit more to do. It's not something that happens right out of um, right out of the box with the preset automations, but you can turn on a light, turn on a fan, um, control different devices, that kind of stuff right, uh, right in there for different temperature settings. Um, so that is HomePod OS 16.3. It's a pretty good update because it added some physical features to the HomePod mini and second generation HomePod, which was just released and uh, should be shipping here shortly. I'm Colin with TechOut. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as always, have a great day.